come out of the water and go over the pad again. You know, when you start with a little idea and hope that people are going to join you in the idea that you've created. It's just amazing to see what it's turned out to be. The more you get in the water. Hard to believe some 13 years later that the Try For a Cure was once just that, an idea. Mothers are, that have been doing the race for years are now bringing their daughters who are now 16 and can now participate too. So um, that's that's pretty cool. <laughs> You're all good. <laughs> Julie Marchese says it's those women, their stories of survival and their stories of loss that make the try the legacy that it is. You can't create uh, the aura of what will happen, but you can create the things that will happen. And we spend great time and great detail over making those things being just right because the women that come to the race deserve that. The time and detail not going unnoticed. Marchese was recently recognized nationally as race director of the year at a triathlon summit in Arizona noting her work to empower women throughout Maine and beyond. Just brought um, validation to what we're doing and that we are really doing something great. More than $16 million has been raised since the very beginning. The try helped make this year another success for the Maine Cancer Foundation. I'm happy to report that we've awarded 42 grants um, and over $2 million um, to Maine communities and that's statewide in all 16 counties. Every dollar raised going back to our state. Looking ahead to next year, Marchese knows there is a lot of work to be done, but she says what makes this race different than any other in the country are the things she can't plan. You know, the stories, you can't plan the people that register, you can't plan you know, what it's going to feel like on race day. And those things just happen naturally. Yeah, this wonderful woman <laughs> and she's helping me. And those are the greatest things about race day, are the things that you can't plan. That was not easy. Kathleen Jordan, WMTW News 8.